think Nintendo is primed to go super hard with Zelda this year being the 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of The Legend of Zelda. Why? Oh, AG. My heart. My poor, poor heart. I can't... I can't take it all. I really can't. So, amidst all this Breath of the Wild 2 news and excitement, which is 100% warranted, don't get me wrong, because you know your boy right there with you, AJ Aonuma did confirm that there is nothing else coming this year for the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary besides the Zelda Game & Watch, which comes out November 12th, if I remember correctly. Boy, oh boy, this is something, man. I, I'm extremely upset by this, really, I am. I think it's um, an incredibly large missed opportunity, and uh, yeah, shout out to Nehru for absolutely calling this, because it would be too good to be true for us to get anything fun for the Zelda 35th, I guess. But, uh, saltiness aside, there has been some notable things come out about Breath of the Wild 2 since E3's conclusion. Now, IGN had an interview with Bill Trennan, um, who we all should know and love. And uh, Bill Trennan revealed that there is indeed a subtitle for Breath of the Wild 2. So IGN sat down with Bill and they had this discussion and they asked why there was no title announcement. And Bill had this to say. As for why we are holding back on the name, you'll just have to stay tuned because obviously Zelda names are kind of important, Trennan says during our interview. Those subtitles, they start to give little bits of hints about maybe what's going to happen. They also informed IGN that, that they understand why people are calling it Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be shorthand, and it's natural for people to want to find shorthand way to frame it. We're still calling it the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Additionally, IGN talked to Bill about the comparisons to Majora's Mask, which has been something that's been a huge topic of discussion the past couple years since the original Al Numa interview. Bill clarifies, I would say it's an easy comparison or conclusion to jump to at this point in time, just given what's been shown so far and given the nature of it being a direct sequel. So I understand people making that conclusion. But at the same time, I don't want to delve too much into it, but this is its own game. Bill also indicated that there was certainly more we don't know about too, saying that the way that the sequel builds on Breath of the Wild, which, we alre which was already such an expansive game with so many layers of Link's abilities and layers to the gameplay, I think this is going to layer quite a bit more into that, which is something that we can all kind of you know, see given what they've shown in the trailer. There's so much new things that have been added just in the short little teaser that we've gotten that seems to be redefining how we perceive Breath of the Wild and to challenge what we know about this game um, already. But I think it's I think it's extremely interesting to note that Nintendo is aware that the Zelda community is quite uh, quite the ravenous beast and will tear apart anything as we've seen over the last 24 hours. Um, so it's probably wise on their part to not show their hand yet, but you know, at the, at the same time, give me the title, please. I'm tired of calling this Breath of the Wild 2. As for the Majora's Mask comparisons, I, I'm really glad that they kind of clarified this a bit because this has been such a hot topic of discussion and a lot of people run with it as if it's, you know, fact that it's going to be darker than Majora's Mask. Some people are just like, no, it's mistranslations, miscommunications. So I'm really glad that they really, you know, clarified this and said that this is its own game. It's easy to make those comparisons because of what you've seen so far, but there isn't any kind of direct correlation between Breath of the Wild 2 and Majora's Mask. 
So thankfully we have some confirmation on that so we can finally lay this tiring argument to rest. So as far as Nintendo is concerned, there's no correlation between the two. Hopefully we do get this darker Zelda and have those feelings of dread and anguish and everything. And that seems to be the case. But that's pretty much all the news we have outside of Nintendo's E3 presentation. And the way the IGM was doing these is they kind of spaced these articles out a good bit. So if there is any more information that comes out, you know we'll be covering it here on the channel. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe. We're closing in on 2,000 subs. We're about 250 subs off. So it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. If you're interested in more Breath of the Wild 2 content, then this is the place to be. Please like, please share the video with a friend. You know, if we can grow this community, that's more voices and uh, more theories and more speculation and more people to talk Zelda with. And it would mean the world to me. You could join a great community here on the channel. We do live streams pretty often. We cover a wide array of topics and theories and things. And uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.